What's going on guys, Dots here, and in today's guide we're going to be going over crystals and black desert online. The system changed a bit recently, and if you're just coming back to the game, you might be wondering where the crystal slots in your gear went, and what you should be doing now, what are the best crystals to use now in BDO for PvP and PvE, and we're going to be going over just that in today's video. But, before we do get started, I do just want to thank today's sponsor, Ewin Racing. I've been using an Ewin Racing gaming chair for my stream setup for a long time now, and I absolutely love it. It's got all the things you would expect from your gaming chair. It's got a lumbar pillow, it's got a neck support, you are able to move the back up and down. Of course, you were able to ascend and descend with an arm on the side of the chair. And you are also able to move and adjust the angle of the armrest, which can be really, really handy depending on where you have your mouse positioned. The build quality of the chair is really, really good. It's extremely comfortable. And I'm able to sit in this thing for hours with absolutely no issue if you want to pick up a chair for yourself i personally have the champion model you're able to go onto ewin's website and shop their current available listings they have some current deals and ongoings on their homepage. you can then look at their list of gaming chairs as well as their new line of gaming desks and find some specials of what they have on for sale you can pick a, anything up from their store for 30 percent off using code dots at checkout and clicking the link in the description below all right, guys, now that we're back from the ad break, let's actually get into the guide. So crystals, for those of you who are very new, are items that you get in BDO that you can slot in a crystal profile to give your character more stats. These are a very important part of your character build in BDO and something that you definitely want to take the time to set up. Thankfully as well, these crystals are account wide. So once you have a really good profile set up, all your characters will have access to them. To set up your crystals, assuming you have some in your possession, you need to first add them into your crystal inventory. So what you're going to want to do is open your bags and you're going to want to click crystals. And this will open your crystal inventory where you can add any crystals that you've purchased into. They'll pop up here in your bag. You right click them and they will go straight into your crystal inventory. Once that's complete, you want to talk to the black spirit and then click transfusion. This will open up your crystal profile, as you can see here, and you can set up a bunch of different crystal profiles for different activities, such as PvP, PvE, Node Wars, Life Skills, etc. In the past, you used to be restricted by the types of crystals that you could use based on which piece of gear they could be slotted into. So, like, certain crystals can only go in, like, uh, you know, like a, the chest piece, and then others could only go in a weapon. But now with the crystal profiles, that doesn't really happen anymore, and crystals are instead categorized under certain types. And you can use a certain amount of crystals per category per crystal profile. And when you go to slot them, you will be able to kind of see, let's say, as you know, um, you know, if you see under this like Magic Crystal of Infinity Siege, the crystal group is Siege Weapon Evasion Rate, Max Transfusable by Group 2. So every crystal is put into its own category and it tells you how many per that type you can actually slot in one profile. Now, the chart that I'm going to put on the screen here will show the best in slot crystal profile for PvE. This is an image that I'm not sure where it originated, it's not mine, but it has been floating around a lot of different class discords and is, is basically like the BIS PvE chart. Now those crystals that you see at the top, going from left to right, are the Dark Red Fang Crystal Valors, Corrupted Magic Crystal, Rebellious Spirit Crystal, and Glorious Crystal of Gallantry Akrod. But keep in mind that these Glorious Crystals should only be slotted once you have the Garmoth Heart. If you want more accuracy in your build, you're going to want to pick up Jin Magic Crystal Vipers. And if you need even more accuracy, you're going to want to get Crystals of Elkars. If you're not hitting AP caps for the spots that you are grinding at, you're going to want to grab yourself some Ancient Magic Crystal of Crimson Flame Power, at least four. Otherwise, you can consider getting some Crystals that give CC resists. Um, personally, for PvE, I could show you my current profile. Um, I am using four Ancient Magic Crystal Flame Powers. I am using the two Corrupted, I am using two Dark Red Fang Crystal Valors, two Gin Vipers, and two Rebellious Spirit Crystals, and then for the Movement Crystal, I use Swiftness. This is a really, really balanced profile that will work well on most classes, and then when you unlock these two with the Garmoth Heart, that's when you're going to put those Glorious Crystal of Gallantries in there. Now, for PvP, the screenshot that I'm going to put again on the screen is going to show what you want to grab for PvP. And I will showcase two different setups, a general PvP build for more brawly classes, kind of like Guardian or Draconia, and a more offensive focus build for classes maybe more like Dark Knight, Maywa, etc. PvP crystals, keep in mind though, are going to vary a bit more based on personal preference and on a class-by-class -class basis. 
but these two profiles will serve as a really good starting point for most people going into PvP, and you just kind of need to look like, am I more of a frontline brawly class, or am I more of an assassin class, and then choose your crystals based off of what kind of class that you are playing for PvP. But guys, with that being said, that's pretty much it for the guide. Crystals are really, like, a lot easier now. Switching between the crystal profiles is also really, really, really easy by just being able to go into Transfusion and switch between these. You don't have to constantly extract crystals, take them out of gear, have extra gear. Um, and you can also, if you do want access to more crystal profiles as well as uh, crystal slots in your actual crystal bag, you can come here to the loyalty shop and you can get five additional expansion slots for the crystal inventory itself for a thousand loyalty and an additional preset for only 2000 loyalty. So these are very cheap ways to kind of like expand your, your, your crystal selection, or you could also spend some pearls on some, but with how cheap the loyalty expansions are, I highly recommend picking those up uh, relatively quickly once you start actually trying to start slotting crystals. Cause I know at least for me, in terms of profiles, what I have, I have a P, you know, general PVP for like my tankier classes. Again, this is like the Draconia Guardian profile, PVE. I have my more offensive profile for like Dark Knight Hashishin, Node War Tier 2, Node War Tier 1, and then life skills. So pretty much kind of covers all my bases and there's really not much else I could uh I could really ask for. But Guys, with that being said, that's pretty much going to be it for today's guide. Nice, quick, and to the point. And hopefully you did find it helpful. And if you did, I appreciate it. If you smacked a like on the video, if you have any questions about crystals, please feel free to leave a comment below and subscribe for more Black Desert Online guides and gameplay. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I very much appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next video.